like this. Oh my God. Yeah, that needs to be fixed. Okay, so I'm gonna do some eyeliner and <laughs> dry shampoo and I don't know what else. So I like did my hair and it was cute and now it's like kind of weird cause it's like puffy. It looks like I have a bump it in. I'm probably gonna take it out in the car. Um, but I'm just grabbing a protein bar to bring and some just like snacks because I need snacks. Got these, no, these ones, chocolate chip cookie dough the other day. Very good. So I'm going to probably, I'm probably going to eat the chocolate peanut butter pretzel though. Cause that's just, it's my favorite. My mom probably brought one of these too. 7.59, gotta go. I already made espresso. And for breakfast, I'll probably just have pasta salad because I made some yesterday. Yeah, I'm just really not liking this whole vibe. I look like, I don't, I don't know. It's weirding me out though. I'm, not, I'm probably gonna take it out. Yes, I am still basically 2016 Danielle. I threw my extensions in, turned to the side on YouTube, um, and I think it looks a lot better. So there we are. My lactose pills. Charger. Wallet. I'm bringing my laptop to edit some videos. And water, of course. I did switch out my Hydro Drugs lid for the pink lid because Chase was like, it'll look cute. One of these. Is it big enough? That's the problem. Because I do have like the really big one. It's probably $5 more. 30. Um, so, are you going to put a fake plant in here? Probably. Okay, well, if you put something real, just make sure you put a big enough. Yeah. Like, are these intended for? Oh, yeah, that's use? all ceramic. <clears throat> or clay. See, like, you could put one of these plants. This is like, this is really cute. Mm hmm. In there. Oh, yeah. That is really cute. Mm hmm. Oh, God. Look really nice. And then, oh, there's more pots. I don't know what for plants. Oh yeah, I wanted to get a certain kind of vase. That would probably be from like the ceramic stuff though. Come on, I took a screenshot of it. It's like this. So I found this one. It's tin. I don't like that together at all. No. Overwhelmed is an understatement. There's just so much of everything. So far, not sure about these yet. How much is this one? Does it have a tag on it? There's another one in plastic. Oh. It's better. Oh, 180. Well, I guess that's not that bad. Or there could be like this one with this like pattern though. Kind of blue. I think that's yeah. blue. Oh, this one. That's weird. what it looks like right there. Yeah, that's weird. It looks like a checkerboard. Yeah. I don't hate this one. Yeah, I kind of like this one. Hmm. Target. That's a basket. I can't even open the best burger on the planet. You can have a couple fries because they are the best fries. The extra ketchup. Wow. These. Oh. 
<laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, we are home. So short and sweet. I got this coat rack because we don't have anything to hang our coats on right now. Our coats are literally sitting at the front door on boxes. So got this for $25. It is what it is. I think it's cute. It'll probably get hung up in the shop or maybe up here, but maybe just in the shop for now. I got this mirror from, like virtually everything was from Hobby Lobby. Um, I got this mirror. I think I got it for $30. It is so cute. I'm gonna put it in the bedroom. I got this plant for $30. It was 50% off. I think it's cute. I'm not 100% sure where it's gonna go yet, but it might go in the bedroom or down here. I do have a fake plant down here already. So yeah. And then I got this pot that is like ceramic and it kind of goes really well with the floor. So I thought that was cute. I did get this from Target. It was eight, $8. And I'm going to have it on the counter with the Nespresso pods that we use all the time. I think that's the plan. I got some of these fuzzy, fuzzy guys to go in a planter. So I guess these can just chill here right now. I'm gonna have to cut them because they are a little too long. I got these two pillows. I'm not sure how I feel about them yet, but they might go on the couch. They might go on the bed. They're pretty big, so they're $25 each. Not too, too bad. I'm just sitting at the front door for this because I don't want to carry everything because everything's gonna go where it needs to go. So yeah got this painting. I think it's really adorable. Um, and I got it for 10 bucks. So I think that was a good find. This is going to go in the kitchen. Um, we plan to make some, I'll show you. Above the stove over there, the wall is pretty bare because we only have one upper right now. Um, we might get a, another upper to go over there, but right there, we're likely going to move my computer and then we're going to put some wooden shelves. So that can go on there. And I'm doing um, a collaboration with this absolutely beautiful um, pots and pan company. And the color of the pots are, well, the color of the pots and pans are like, kind of like this green. So I thought these would just go really, really well. So I got those to go together and then more fake plants because we have these hanging in a few places already and they were $5 each. They just look really, really nice. So I picked up a couple more. And then these, I thought candle holders could also go on like that wooden shelf that's going above the stove area. And I'm not sure what pot I'm gonna put these in, either this one, which is really cute. I really, really like that. Or maybe I'm going to put them in this, kind of the same vibe, just a different color. Probably this one because the drawers that, or the, why can't I remember what this thing's called? <laughs> this thing in our bedroom is white. Like it's, what is wrong with my brain today? Dresser, <laughs> the dresser, oh my God, um, is white. So I think this will just add a little pop of color. And I probably, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this rug. It's like woven and I think it's really pretty. Chase is gonna be like, that's not practical at all. But it, I think it's gonna look really pretty. So I have some new bedding from Brooklinen to throw on the bed. I actually just got a set of the gray that is on the bed right now. And I love it. It's like a bamboo linen and it's really, really pretty. And it's really comfy. And I got gifted it from Season Tex and they're a little Canadian brand and I love it. But this is just fun to switch it up. That's like one thing that I will switch up in my house, which I always have done. is like changing my duvet cover or just like my bedding. And then, oh, Nespresso. Nespresso had a sale, so, yep. Oh, and this lamp. So I got this lamp because it was on clearance, normally 70. Got it for $17.50. I don't know. It's kind of, my mom was like, really? And I was like, I think it would look cute in the living room, but maybe, maybe it's not going to. And then I'm gonna have to sell it at a garage sale or something, but I thought it was kind of rustic and cute. 
And I got this pot. I think it was $18 and it's a really good size pot. Ah, these were $5.99, I didn't realize. For me, I think that's a little bit honestly expensive, especially compared we went to Target right after. Target, they're much cheaper, but these are super cute because they also match the pots and pans that we're getting. This lighting doesn't do them justice at all. It's like a really pretty green. It's coming off really muted. It's much darker in person, but I think these will look really nice as well. Yeah, definitely. And then picked up some more fake greenery because yeah, these were 50% off. So five bucks each. And I think they're really pretty. Maybe I'll throw something in here instead of my sunflowers that are so old. I could probably repurpose those, put them somewhere else. They just look fake because they're so bright green. And I just am liking like these muted colors a little bit better. Oh, look, my plant is doing so well. She is thriving. She's thriving. And I'm growing. I'm growing a lettuce. Um, and then the only few things I got at Target were this big bag of blueberries that needs to go in the freezer. It was in the cooler. Please fit. Okay. Um, got a couple of Fairlife milks because they're $3 each. Decent amount of protein. I really like this just to drink or cereal or you could throw them in protein shakes, but I really like it in cereal. I was buying the little mini ones, like the personal to go protein shakes. They do have more protein, but this is so much cheaper, $3 for one, or you get just like a little baby one for $2 and they're lactose free. So I love that. Strawberries at, at Target. We ran out of reusable shopping bags. Um, strawberries at Target were two bucks each and that is a uh, steal. So got that. If you haven't had these chips, we got these at Super One, the Fiesta. One of my besties showed us these chips. They are phenomenal. The plain ones are good too, but the Fiesta are just like, they're so good. They're like light and crispy and you can just eat them by themselves or you can use them for chip dip. Got a big bag of the plain ones too. And they had the ghost energy drinks. So I had to, I had to grab a couple just to try. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm not a fan of ghost, but you know, I'm a fan of first form, but I just saw these and they were kind of expensive, like 250 US each. That's almost $3 for an energy drink. Like for me, I would rather whip up pre-workout <laughs> but it's just something different to try. So like a one-time thing, I just got a couple of them and some little baby tortillas for when we have just like little snack size tacos or something. So I'll show you guys like how I style like a few of the things, but like going, I don't know how people go to these home stores and don't get like insanely overwhelmed. Like me, I am, I was so overwhelmed especially last time this time i'm like i kind of know like the vibe that i'm going for and some things that i would like but at the same time there's so much to choose from how do you decide without spending a ridiculous amount of money like everything i got at home no hobby lobby a total like 340 dollars to me i got a lot of shit and then i literally spent eight dollars at target so uh i don't know how people could spend like I am a big mon money saver. And I think you guys know that if you follow me. So even spending like $340, I was like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But just to have, the other thing is, is if I lived closer, like we drove like almost two hours there and then two hours back, um, if we lived closer, so we'd be able to just buy like whatever, try it out, see how it looked in the house, in the space, and then just re return what you don't need. That's another thing. We don't have that option um, because I don't know when we're gonna be going back next. So if you do have that option, like Hobby Lobby, they did say that their return policy was, I think 90 days. So realistically we could return a lot of it, but we also have to pay tax or I had to pay tax. So then you lose on the tax, I guess, but I'm happy, I'm excited. And I wanna go kind of put spaces together and just see how stuff looks. <laughs> 
I will show you guys the shower though. So we have it like hanging over the fake plant from Hobby Lobby from the last time we went. And this is actually like one thing that I love the way it looks. We're gonna have wood along the ceiling when it's done, but for a 10, $15 plant, fake plant, it looks beautiful and it just adds. So just something like that, like our shower is absolutely stunning, but that just adds and I love it. Okay, I will, I'll bring you guys upstairs and we can like kind of put dresser together and see how that looks because this is one I'm really excited for, but I'm probably not gonna trim the, trim the fake plants yet because I just don't want to yet. So yeah, okay. Okay, so I don't even know if the lighting's gonna be very good, but right here, there's the dresser. I showed you guys kind of like the picture vibe that I was going for. I was gonna do a, circu a circular mirror, but I didn't know if the one I was getting was gonna be too big. So I figured, let's try this kind of mirror. And it honestly might be like a little bit too small. And then one of these beside it with the, the ferns coming out. It doesn't look bad. I just don't think it is enough for it to be like what I want it to be. You know what I mean? So I might need to get a big circular mirror. Maybe like more off to one side because I do like my pants are undone. Okay. It was a long drive and I ate that full burger and fries and it wasn't that long of a drive. Maybe over to one side kind of vibe. That might be better. Cause I don't want it to be too much either. I don't know. And this is all we have going on for like behind the bed right now because we're gonna put together like a wood strips bed frame behind. We're gonna make it ourselves and I think that'll look really pretty. And we haven't decided on hanging lights. So I don't wanna just buy something like willy nilly. So like the bath area looks absolutely gorgeous our plant is thriving the lights it's growing on me and maybe if the ferns were in there it would look a little better okay so i put the rug down i put the ferns in and i honestly think it looks a lot better i'm not sure if this is how it's going to stay like indefinitely but i think it looks really good and maybe i will move this rug over here but it could fit pretty well right here. So maybe I'll do that. Hopefully we'll have our washer and dryer soon. I'm really excited about that. And that's where this um, countertop's going on top because they are front load, they are not top load. Yeah, I think this looks really pretty from the side. Um, obviously this one is going to go somewhere else, but I think this looks pretty. I think it all just looks good. Like this ties in with like the light and those colors. So I threw the bedding on and it looks really cute. I like it a lot. And I ended up putting the plant, the fake plant in the bathroom. And I think it just, it looks really, really nice. So this is just kind of like a full visual of what the bathroom looks like upstairs. We don't have any of the hangers up for towels or anything like that yet, but yeah. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna keep this. It's not too, too bad. It's hard to get these ones that do not wanna bend, they keep breaking. So I definitely want like a bigger vase for here. And we're not done the TV wall yet. We have a bunch of the wood here to kind of finish it up in the next maybe week. But I put some of the fake plants up here just to add to it. I didn't know where else to put them right now. This candle I got from a friend and it is, it is so nice. It smells like Moroccan oil. So I really, really like the way this is looking so far. My friend said that the TV wall looks so much bigger in person. And I agree, it is, it is really huge in person. And you know what time it is. Having a glass of wine for the first time in quite a bit and going to just keep organizing, keep putting, keep putting stuff away and whatnot. Today was really fun. It was fun to get out and spend the day with my mom too. Um, I moved out two, two, three weeks ago and 
I think it's been good for everybody because especially like over like quarantine and like COVID and everything and not really leaving the house so much. I know it was hard on all of us and it made us all kind of just like snippy with each other for a while there. And I was obviously at the point where I wanted to move out and I was really excited to move out. Um, but then it was like bittersweet at the end where I was like, fuck, I'm actually gonna really miss my, like living with my parents, even though I'm only like, I don't know, less than 10 minutes away um, and have seen them like almost every day since, except for when they were out of town. But yeah, it was just nice. And when you have a really good relationship with your parents, but you also need your own space and you want your own house and you can like understand that like a, a few of my friends still live at home and they're like no i can understand where you're coming from like just having your own space is really really nice but grateful as all hell that i was able to live at home for as long as i did obviously but yes yeah, so it was just nice and all that so i'm gonna go enjoy my wine and maybe have a bath and keep putting shit away so cheers even though this is probably gonna be going up maybe on a Friday. So maybe it'll go up next Friday.